Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 36 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in for today's show. If you caught our last episode, we were taking a look at Adobe Photoshop, specifically how to create glow effects and light trails. We're only a few days away from Photoshop World. That's right, next week I'll be broadcasting live from Las Vegas in some remote unknown hotel location. I'm looking forward to the trip. It's always fun to get out there this time of year. So if you're out in Las Vegas, if you're at Photoshop World, look for me on the expo floor, walking around, checking out the classes. Today, as we're wrapping up the week, I've got a quick tip related to Adobe Illustrator. We're gonna talk about drawing modes. Let's go ahead and jump on in. You can see in the screen in front of you, I've got a blank canvas, and I just wanna point out at the bottom of the screen, we've got three drawing modes in CS5. That would be draw normal, draw behind, and draw inside. If I start to draw objects inside of Illustrator, you'll notice that all the new objects that I draw stack in front of all the older objects. So the most recent object is always in front, and this is now what's referred to as draw normal mode. This is the expected behavior. But if I press Shift D, that's the keyboard shortcut that will cycle through the three drawing modes. So I'll go ahead and press Shift D on the keyboard, and if I pick a different shape and I'll grab a different color, you'll see that now when I draw this new shape, it shows up behind all the objects. And in fact, if I continue to draw other shapes with different colors, they will also show up behind all the objects. So this is the second drawing mode called Draw Behind. <clears throat> but we also have a mode called Draw Inside. The draw inside mode requires you to have an object selected. So I'll grab the selection tool. I'm going to click this rectangle that's in the front and I'll click the draw inside. I could also use shift D to jump from the draw behind mode to the draw inside. I'll go ahead and pick a different shape. I'll use a circle this time and I'll go ahead and draw the circle and make it overlap the rectangle. Now when I let go of the mouse, you'll notice it doesn't really appear that the circle is there. That's simply because the circle and the rectangle are the same color. So if I go ahead and change the color of the circle, you'll see truly it is actually there. And if I grab my selection tool, which is V on the keyboard, I can go ahead and move this circle inside that rectangular selection. So this is actually kind of a quick way to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to go ahead and erase everything that I have here and show you how those drawing modes might be useful to paint out a quick scene. I'm going to start by just turning on an image that I have. This is a photograph of me and my daughter. Hey, look at that. We actually have new swag. So coming soon to a story of you. I'm going to go ahead and just turn on a shape here. I'll select this shape on the screen and I'll go to the draw inside drawing mode. I'm going to select this picture and I'll do edit cut, which is control X or command X on your keyboard. That makes the image disappear. Make sure that I have that object selected. I'm in draw inside mode. And if I do edit paste, notice that the picture shows up inside the heart. I also want to point out the stroke disappeared. If you're using a stroke that's not the basic uniform stroke, most likely it's going to disappear. That's okay, I'll just put a new stroke in later. So here I'm gonna go ahead and just pop in a stroke that I drew, painted in front, there it is. I'll get out of this draw inside mode, make sure nothing's selected. I'm gonna to switch to the draw behind mode, and now I'm gonna start picking some colors that I wanna paint with. So I'm gonna grab a brush, pick my colors, and here we go, we are going to grab the brush and this will now draw behind the heart. So here's my little flower stem, draw behind the heart. I'll go ahead and grab a different brush, paint in some grass. Jay Shu, the Texas animator, would be so proud <laughs> of my lovely 
artistic skills. So I'll change that. Let me go ahead and grab some orange. We must have a sun over here. So look at that. Mr. AJ can kind of sort of draw. <laughs> and then I'll change the color and now I'll put in some rays for the sun. Notice I'm drawing through my circle. I am drawing through the circle here. Got these crazy rays going through the circle. But because I'm in draw behind mode, that shows up right behind my little sunburst. So that's been a quick demonstration of your different drawing modes. We've got draw inside, which creates a, uh, creates a quick clipping mask. We've got draw behind, which lets you kind of put things in reverse. This has been a quick tip for Adobe Illustrator. If you appreciate the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate when you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I create the videos in response to your questions. So reach me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Leave comments here on the YouTube channel or my blog, ajwood.com. You guys have an excellent weekend, and I hope to see you next week at Photoshop World.